Hi guys. So in this video, we are going to look at criterion C, which is personal engagement. So it's out of three to begin with, and it's pretty straightforward. The descriptors, well, it's just straightforward, the language, but understanding them is more complicated. So one is some personal engagement, two is significant personal engagement, and three is outstanding personal engagement. Let me go through the, these bullet points and hopefully we'll get to explain what outstanding personal engagement is. I'll then show you some examples, um, some good examples of personal engagement. One, you need to care about your exploration and your results, and this needs to be evident. Now that is easier said than done. Um, if you have an aim that is really personal and like, let's say the the um, snow, the snow jumping, the snowboard jump modeling guy. Um, that's e it's easy for him to show that he cares about the model and the jump and all that thing. It it's harder to show that you really care if you're like looking at the correlation between GDP and crime or whatever it is. Um, but you need to well, whatever you're doing, you need to show the reader that you care about your results. So comment on your results, give your opinion. The IA should be personal. Finding the probability of making the track team is more personal than investing investigating Pythagoras' theorem. Now you don't have to do a, like a really personal um, IA, like where you go and um, actually go go to ski Dubai or whatever, or create a, create a model of you doing something to find the probability that you can that you can I don't know make the swim team or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be all about you. It can be about something else or countries or whatever, but it helps if it's about it. Well, it helps if, if it's about you or at least that it's about something that you're interested in or a country that you're from, things like that. Don't go down the route of investigating Pythagoras theorem or anyone's theorem for that matter, um, unless you've kind of got your own real interesting personal take on Pythagoras theorem. It's not worth doing. My kind of general rule is if you can find it in a book, or on some website, don't do it. It's already been done before. Okay, you. I've written you could for lots of, lots of these because you don't have to do them all. You might just want to do one or two of them, but you could do research and collect secondary data. So go and find data on some reputable website, whatever. You could collect your own data. So that might make it a little bit more personal. If you actually go out and collect your own data, uh, take measurements, time your runs, whatever. You could do a questionnaire. So that's that's a way of collecting data as well. And that's that adds to personal engagement because you're going out and you're actually going to the trouble of making a questionnaire and going and asking people their opinions. You could create your own model from a video or a photo. So look, I've shown you and I will show you numerous examples of that. That definitely looks good. The your tennis shot, basketball shot, um, whatever. Uh, the photo of the school, any of those things look look good. You could do an experiment. If you do an experiment, um, as personal engagement, you could learn new math. Now, I don't often rec well, I don't recommend learning new math. But sometimes you haven't studied integration, and you want to do an IA on area. Well, that's fine because you're going to be learning integration anyway, and and you can actually, well, your teacher will know that you learned that on your own and that allowed personal engagement. Um, learning to new to, to use new software like GeoGebra and Logger Pro, that's great, That's that shows that you're personally engaged. Give your opinion whenever possible. Now there's, I find there's a, a criterion C and criterion D, they kind of go together. So it's very hard to have good, it's very hard to have very bad personal engagement, but very good reflection or vice versa. Normally, you, you've both, you've good reflection and good personal engagement, or um, bad reflection and bad personal engagement. And a lot of that is to do with giving your opinion. If you give your opinion a lot and talk about what's going on, you will, um, well, it shows that you're personally engaged and you're reflecting at the same time. At least some of the time, write in the first person. So, so I sometimes say all of the time, write in the first person. Um, but at least some of the time, at least like stop when you're reflecting right in the first person. Look at real world situations. Consider different perspectives, historical, global, local perspectives, what, what's going on. And um, again, that might not be applicable in your situation, but 
um, if you can do it. If you're modeling climate change, how is this affecting a certain certain partic a particular place in the world or the whole world or whatever? Your IA should be original and must be unique. Now, I've talked about this before. I've seen many an IA on, uh, let's say, modeling a basketball shot where, let's say this guy's here and he's going to throw he throws his basketball into the basket, right? That's not that original. Now, it depends what he does. You could, you could do something really original within that. But let's just say it's not a really original topic. Well, fine, it's not original. But, and let's say I've seen loads of these, right? Let's say I've seen 20 of these types of IAs. But none of the 20 that I've seen have had the exact same function that to model it because everyone's done it slightly different or t used a slightly different video or a different picture or whatever whatever they've done so they're all unique no one's is the same unless you've gone out and plagiarized someone or someone's copied someone or something weird is going on um and finally passion and interest should be a abundant in the overall read of the paper. So make of that what you will. But the, the your teacher, the reader, should be able to read it and go, yes, this student is really, really into this IA. They really care about what's going on. They have made it their own. They've made this IA their own. And uh, there's evidence of outstanding personal engagement. So look, it's, 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 not, it's not always, well, it's not easy to get three out of three here. But if you've done a really kind of, uh, if you have a good aim, and if you've got a good topic, it's very possible to do. Okay, let me just show you some examples. Now, look, the truth is, I, I mean, I have loads and loads and loads of examples in personal engagement that I could have shown you. Um, that the swimming one is obviously full of personal engagement because it's a very personal one. This is the snowboarding one again. So look, snowboarding, He's gone to Ski Dubai. He's gone to the trouble of modeling this. He's learned how to new how, how to use Logger Pro. He he it, the mathematics is actually useful for his uh, real life situation. So look, definitely three out of three personal engagement for that one. Um, another one I wanted to show you was okay. This one, this IA here was so. This is our school and he's modeling the school in order to find he wants to find the area of the front of the school and to see how much paint they will use to paint this front of the school. Now, like I wanted to show you this example because you could say like you could say, well, this is this is obviously he's just ma he's just made up a problem to fit to to solve that would fit or make a nice IA. Well, maybe he has. And like you could say, why would he possibly care about that area of the front of the school? Well, that's a fair question. Why, why would anyone care about what that is unless you're actually going to be buying the paint? Um, well, fine. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't fully care about that final answer. But you can tell from r reading the IA that he definitely cares about all these functions and he cares about the about how to fit how to create the model and it's there's personal engagement is all over this it's all over this paper so he's learned how to i mean like i never taught him how to how to do any of this he's just gone and figured out how to do it by himself so um that's an example of an ia that is um yeah full of personal engagement last one i want to show you is Okay, well, this like, this is an IA that's totally not. I wanted I wanted to give you an example of an IA that is totally not um, a personal journey or story, or whatever. That this is simply um, investigating if the probability of a m by n sliding puzzle game is determinable from a given arrangement. So it's literally this game, and he's trying to find the probability of, um, well, he's trying to find whatever that aim said there. And look, this is a definitely not an IA that I recommend people to do, but 
definitely an IA that is three out of three for personal engagement because he's totally engaged in the IA and he's totally made the IA his own and he's gone and used mathematics that's that is this is a higher level IA but he's gone and used my mathematics that is not necessarily beyond the course but certainly not in the higher level course and this actually took me hours and hours just to try and understand it so um that yeah personal engagement isn't just about you doing uh, a snowboard jump you can get personal engagement in many many different ways and well this kind of shows uh, shows uh, the main uh, ways to do it okay so that's personal engagement ideally you can get three out of three surely everyone should be getting two out of three in personal engagement next video i will show you is uh, reflection